Hello and welcome to another Chillers Out Horror Game. This time I'll be playing The Caregiver, where I'm going to be giving care to an elderly man who needs my help. If you want to play it for yourselves, look down below in the description. The links, the details will be down there. I really hope you enjoy it. If you want to support the channel, leave a like, maybe a comment as well. But here we go. Let's begin a new game of The Caregiver. Okay, Tomita Sachi, 26. Is that who I'm playing as? Well, here we are. All right. Let's get this started, shall we? Hi. Oh, Naomi's sleeping again. She's always like this recently. I guess being new really gets to you. Don't worry, Naomi. I was like that too when I started. Yeah, this is a this is a tough job, right? It's got to be. Yeah, it's too tough for me. Right, before we get started, I probably need some sort of pick-me-up. Can I get anything with caffeine? Maybe I can just take this whole thing with me. No? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working like that. I've got a body. Nice detail. All right. Um, right, let's get out of here, shall we? Let's go and see if we can find this old man I'm meant to look after. Okay, uh, let's go this way. All right. So, uh, yeah, Chiller's Art Games have been a mixed bag in the past. What we got here? A medicine cabinet? Okay. Yeah, so uh, what was the last one I played? I guess it was... I guess it was Hanako, wasn't it? And that was pretty good. Hopefully it's up to that sort of standard, or maybe it's even better. Okay, I can open the cabinet, but I can't seem to take any of the medicine. I guess, well, maybe I don't know what I'm looking for? I'll just leave that for now, I suppose. What's this? Okay, so that sort of green light, that indicates that there's something to pick up, and I've got my bag! Okay, I think there is supposed to be an inventory system, right? Uh, I think it's tab, but apparently my bag was filled with absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? Doesn't really look like it. Not to me. That's another way out, is it? Okay. Well, let's keep going this way. Let's see what else I can find. Maybe I can find another colleague who's sleeping. Mm, doesn't look like there's anyone around here. Let's try these doors. Nope. Nothing. Okay, I, I couldn't even see that door from the other corner. Man, it's dark. I hope I do get, like, a flashlight or something at some point. Maybe some matches or a lighter. Just, I don't know, a lantern. <laughs> a torch. A flaming torch. Something. Right. Let's go this way. So, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, what's this? It's time. Time for what? I better hurry. <laughs> okay, it's time. I guess I'm on shift or something now? Okay. Oh, hello. The receptionist. Uh, heading out, I guess she says? Uh, yes. But to Suichi's. Oh? I just got a call from his daughter to come over. Said it was some sort of emergency. Alright. It's already late. Just get everything you need now. And go home after you get the job done. I'll let the boss know. Thanks, Rosako. Oh, and wake Naomi up before you leave. She's sleeping in the break room again. Again? She's a hard worker. Oh, and did you know? No what? I found this while I was running a little background check of her. I heard she was thrown away and left in a tunnel in the middle of a forest when she was born. Can we talk about this later? Apparently there's an emergency. She was eventually found, though, by a couple of urban explorers. The police couldn't find who the child was or where she came from. That's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. Luckily, she was very soon adopted by a welcoming family. Okay, we don't need her life story. Suichi might be in trouble, right? I, I, I can see that. Look where she is now. A kind-hearted individual taking her job seriously every day. Yeah, and she's a really nice girl. But she seems off sometimes. Is it just me? Off? Yeah. She's kind of emotionless sometimes. Remember, like, even when a patient passed away, she... Hmm. Let's not talk bad behind someone's back, Rosako. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, right. Well, the emergency's probably over. Suichi's probably dead, so I can take my time now. Uh, so, let's see. Anything around here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Can we open the cupboards here? Nothing in the sink. Okay. Uh, we got one door over there, or I, or I think I'd probably leave. Okay. 
All right, so there's sprinting in this. That's good. Uh, there's crouching. There's no jumping by the looks of it. This duck already? Well, yeah, she was nattering on and on and on. Okay, so... Um, do I drive? <laughs> do I break into people's vehicles? No, I don't think I do either of those, to be perfectly honest. What about that bike? Do I use the bike? Maybe I just use my two feet that I've got down here. Um... This way? Right, yeah, let's just leave. And, um... Is it right or left? I'm thinking it's left. I... Oh, am I going the right way? This is an invisible barrier. Maybe I'm not. Oh, no, this is not the right way. This is the left way. Is this right? It actually might be. Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> I've got no idea where I'm going. Is it here? It would be really, really nice if it was just next door. That would be amazing. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. What's this? A mysterious card. Oh? Alright. Oh, there was something about collectibles that I saw on the menu. I thought I, uh, I ticked those off, but I guess you can maybe still collect them. Alright. Yeah, so I guess there's uh, there's mysterious cards to find. Cool. Okay, let's just keep going down this road, shall we? Until it says that I can't go any further, because I'm going the wrong way. Hopefully it's not too far away. This way? Up there? M probably up there, I would think. Yeah, this is not the right way. Let's just follow the lights, shall we? Hmm, okay. So what do you think this emergency was? I'm sure we'll find out very soon. Huh? So far, so good. I, uh, I quite like it. I like the way it looks as well. Uh, they maybe overdid it with the sort of VHS look filter thing. Um... Maybe tone it down a notch, but uh, that's just me. Here? Could be here, I suppose. What we got, then? Uh, you know, I'm not being told that I'm going the wrong way. And I can look inside. Okay, this this has got to be it. Alright, so... Tip. Oh, knock, knock, knock. Hello? Hmm. Maybe they're busy. I'm going to go in, okay? All right, and in we go. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Immediately. Oh boy. So, what was his name? Suichi? Okay, no entrance to an attic or anything like that. It's not quite the beginning of the grudge. Although I am getting that vibe. Oh, oh God. What, what is this smell? Uh, probably nothing good. Boxes just lying everywhere. Okay. Um, someone needs to clean the place up, I would say. Okay, what we got over here? All right, so we've got the uh, we've got the kitchen over here at the very least. That's good. Um, something in the fridge. I mean, I, I guess as part of my caregiving duties, I'm probably going to have to feed the guy, right? Or maybe not. Maybe that's what his daughter does. Maybe I'm just here to administer medicine, make sure everything's okay. Through here. All right. Oh, what's this? What's this? I got a folded cloth. Okay, so that's in my inventory. Yes, it is. Great. And you can actually see that I'm holding it down there. That's pretty cool. Okay, the bathroom? It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. What? A plank that's stuck? Okay, I need to unstick that plank, I suppose. Right, uh, this way? Oh yeah, there you go. Look at my reflection. My really low FPS reflection. <laughs> Through here? Ah, magic. Can't use it, but that's okay. That's alright. I'll just leave that to Suichi. Um, right. 
This way. Whereabouts is this man? I'm expecting to find him in a cupboard. Oh shit, maybe this is like the grudge. It's like there should be a ladder there, but it's not anymore. And I'm quite glad about that, actually. Yeah. Um, okay. Here? Oh, this is that room. We're just sort of connecting. I see. Uh, what else we got? Oh. Is that another mysterious card? It is. That's uh, a number three. Okay, I guess I missed number one. This way? Wait, this is locked? Or I'm knocking on it. I, I can't seem to get through either way. Right. Um, right, well, I don't... I, I don't know where he is. He could be outside, I guess? What have we got here? The mailbox! No mail to deliver. Okay. Um, maybe I could do some cleaning up, put some stuff in the dumpsters out here. No? Hmm. Well, this is a bit odd. Maybe the emergency is that he's missing. Let's go... Let's go this way. I'm just going to go around the back. Check the back garden. And there's a back door here as well. Ah, well, I can't use that. Never mind. Um, God, it's so dark. What's that? Oh, the remnants of an old van by the looks of it. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's seen better days. Uh, okay. I can kind of see through some of the windows. <laughs> What the hell? Suichi? He just appeared out of nowhere. Don't scare me like that. Oh, there he is. In his wheelchair. Hi. Right, um... I, let's just... Let's complete the tour, shall we? Let's go around... Over here. Oh, yep, okay. All the way around. Yep, down the other side of the house. Okay, couldn't get to that area either. I guess that's through the locked door. Like, half the house is, actually. Right, so Suichi's inside. That's good, at least he's not missing. <laughs> Bit weird that he disappeared, though. Um, through here? There you go, there he is. Hey! Ah, Suichi-san! Don't scare me like that! Why didn't you say anything? What happened to your family members? What's that sound? Are they all out? Hey, your daughter phoned, right? Hey, are you? Oh, look underneath him. Is he pissing himself? He might be pissing himself. Are you okay? Suichi san? That wasn't. That wasn't because of the ghost, right? That was. <laughs> that was just it closing itself because that's what it does in this game. Right, you're in. Even after years of doing this job, I still can't get used to something like this. I need something to wipe it off. Uh, well, I've got a folded cloth. That does seem to work. Okay, cool. Alright, well, now that we've got that fixed up, what's next on the agenda? Suichi-san? Oh, God. Okay. It's not coming from up there, is it? It sounded like it was coming from this sort of direction. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Oh, hang on. I, yeah, I, I'm I'm hearing noises from through there. But oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I just pulled hard enough to get it open. Through here. Oh bloody hell! It's so dark. I'm already on edge. Okay, we can go to another room. Shit. What is that? Is it like rats scurrying around amongst the boxes? Could be, right? It could be. Okay. 
There's just all sorts of shit around here. I'm also kind of looking for these cards now. <laughs> okay. I, oh. Yeah, it, it just happens after a while. It's nothing creepy. Even though it kind of seems creepy. Okay, so there's just a there's just three rooms full of boxes and not much else, honestly. Get rid of trash. Okay. That's where you're going to start? Okay, well, I think you pretty much have to tackle every single room. Oh, these are stairs. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even really notice. Due to all the trash. That smell again. It's getting stronger. Yeah, what is that smell? I mean, it's, I guess it's not the urine. Okay. More boxes and stuff over here. What we got? Oh, is that another mysterious card? Right. Hey, we got number four. All right. I think these are all meant to be uh, Chiller's Art patrons on Patreon. Or something like that. Okay. Through here? Oh. Something's happening. Is that? Is that a bloody mess on the floor? Oh, it... Wait, wait, someone behind me as well? What the... Oh boy, okay. This isn't good. Ah, uh, you want to run. <laughs> you want to leave and never come back. Kuramoto... Oh, Naomi. Oh, the new girl! Are we playing as Naomi now? <laughs> I think so. She finally woke up. Right. Can she get herself a pick-me-up? No, apparently not. Okay. Oh boy, alright. So, uh... What happened to her? Oh. Hang on, looks like there's a couple of things through here. Where was it? Over here? Info about Suichi. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, you've been assigned him. Lucky you. So he's 83, uh, he weighs about 56 kilograms, low blood sugar, relaxes when bathing, or bathing, um, strong dislike for getting out of home, very forgetful as of late, watch for symptoms of dementia, occasional discomfort, signs of frustration and pain, prescribed opiates if necessary. Okay, alright. Now we know a little bit more about Kogo Suichi. Cool. And there's my backpack. Okay, yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be off. Uh, so, the medicine cabinet over here? Yeah, I can still have a look. I, I guess I don't need the opiates. So, yeah, never mind, never mind. So there's that. And there's nothing else. Hang on. No, wait. Oh, there you go! That's number one! Ah, oh, it's a cat. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, so... Right. I'm pretty sure I'm going to meet the same fate, but... Oh, hey. I heard you talking about me behind my back, you bitch. Hey, Naomi, she says. <laughs> What's wrong, senpai? There's a grandpa I want you to take care of. Hmm, who could that be? It's Suichi, of course. Sachi-chan can't be in charge of him anymore, so can you go in her stead? Sure thing, but what happened to Sachi-san? Oh, don't worry. It's probably about a relationship. She does this from time to time. She isn't getting younger, you know. <laughs> Including myself, that is. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Anyhow, Suichi needs you. Um, do you think I'll be fine? I've never been to a patient's house by myself. Well, we're short on people. I know it's hard, but we have to do our best and go with what we have. I left this information on your desk. Alright, I'll do my best. Well, I've already collected his information. And my backpack, so I guess I'm good to go, right? Wish me luck. All right. So let's see. Do I take the bike? Do I drive <laughs> on the wrong side of the car? Come on. Hang on. Oh, there's another one. Another mysterious card. Oh, cool. All right. They're everywhere, it seems. Now, again, I think I'm just going to have to run. But that's okay. At least I know where I'm going now. It doesn't seem to be quite so dark this time. Right, so this way. And then just run along the road. Not bad, right? 
Not bad at all. Can you read the sign by any chance? No. I think it's a coffee shop. Oh, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> Maybe someone should ring that number. Wasn't sure if I was walking past a statue there. I think there's a guy... Oh. Praying? You have a good soul. Huh? You really do. I can feel it from years of being a monk. Well, I haven't done much in my life yet. It doesn't matter. I see that you follow the way. Visit our temple sometime. With the level of conscience you have, you should feel at home. Okay, <laughs> I'll think about it. Please do. And that's the end of that. That's weird. Okay, alright. Um, I'm actually thinking that I'd better go to Suichi's. That might be less creepy. Nah, not that bad, is it? Um, okay, yeah, so up here. And then it's pretty much like the first on the left, isn't it? It's really not that far away at all. In fact, if, like, uh, Suichi's family just shouts across the car park, they can probably get some medical advice from us. If I've got a good arm, maybe I could throw in the opiates. Right, so... What happened to... Sachi-san? Let's go in and find out. Nothing? Anyone home? Mm, it's open. Okay. Any post? Nothing in the mailbox? Okay. I mean, this is here for a reason, right? I guess there's going to be at some point. Um, alright. What's that? Oh, hang on. It could be... What was this? A rusted tin box. That wasn't there before, was it? Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. It's the kettle, yeah. It's the kettle. Maybe Suishi did this? Yeah, maybe he was trying to make himself a cup of tea or something. Hmm. Anything else that's out of place? I don't think so. Well, there's this, I suppose. So I gotta deal with the rust, I suppose. What about, um... Yeah, what about this? It still won't open because there's a plank blocking it or something? Yeah, it's stuck. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that, to be honest. And I'm not really sure what plank you're talking about. Alright, through here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, he's gone, but... There's a flashlight! Hey! There you go, now we're talking. Right. Where did he get off to? He's not up there, is he? Oh, wait, what? There was something here. Maybe I have to put it back. Oh, please don't put it back. <laughs> I feel like I should burn this place to the ground. Right. So, oh, there he is! Oh, okay, right. Hi! I think he might be stinking a bit. Uh, hello, sweetie san How are you? I'm Naomi. Sachi has been very busy lately. I'll be taking care of you from now on. But... Who's that? Something through there? Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Hopefully I don't trip over her body. Oh, the TV? It's the TV. Uh, yes, let's turn it off. Right. What was up with that? Wait, what? What was that? Wait, whoa! Okay. Bird just hit the window. Uh, can I pick the bird up? Oh no, there's something in its beak. What is that? Is that a paper clip? Oh man, I'm feeling like Kyle Hyde right now. I'm so happy to find a paper clip. <laughs> right. 
just down there. Okay, I need to go outside. But should I look upstairs first? I feel I should look upstairs. Okay, did I, didn't I have a... No, oh, there we go, there we go. I guess I just uh, I took it out of my hands as I was turning the TV off. <sighs> Not going to lie, I'm actually quite nervous. Okay, no blood stains, no body that I'm tripping over. No one's standing behind me, right? <laughs> right? What's this? Oh, another mysterious card. There you go. Sweet. Go on, then. Oh, this might be a bad move. Oh. What's this? Do I... <laughs> You're going to actually give me the choice. Yes, take a peek. Hopefully I don't regret it. I don't really see much. I don't see much at all. Can I not open that anymore? Can I not go in? I guess it's jammed or something. It's stuck. No, never mind. Okay, right. Never mind, never mind. Let's go and deal with the, uh, the crow outside. Shall we? Let's go find that paperclip. And, uh... Maybe check on Suichi as well. I have a feeling he might be gone. Oh no, no, he's, he's still there. Hey. Yeah, the kettle was left boiling and the water was left running. Where's your family? Anyways, I have to take you to the bath now. Yeah, that's going to be a fucking issue, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so we're just going through the same kind of thing. I guess... The paperclip's going to help with that in some way. Huh, okay. So, let's see. Let's go out. Let's, let's go out the front and then run around. Yeah, let's go this way. I think it's... Ooh. Okay. I just heard some random shit inside and I'm noticing that that, I think, is where the ladder's gone. You tried to sneak next door, did you? Maybe I can find a way to take it down. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I might need to go upstairs and climb on the roof or something, or... Well, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Maybe it's got something to do with the paperclip. Okay, so there's the van. Is there anything in the van? I don't think so. Um, so we just got a garden around here. Okay. Oh, no, no. We got a... We got a garage. We got a shed. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Maybe there is. Maybe there is. Okay, that's the only way in. There's no windows or anything. All right. Uh, back here. So it was this way? Ah, yes. Here we are. And there it is. And there is... Yeah, it's a paperclip. Hmm. Right. Get that equipped. I'm going to go back in. I, I really do fear for his safety. I think he's just going to go disappearing again. No, he's there. He's still there. Right. I do wonder, actually, if maybe the paperclip goes here? Let's try it. Oh. Okay. Uh, pick the lock? Yes. Can Naomi do that? Naomi can obviously do that. I, we've got... A sh oh, a shed key! Fantastic! Okay, um, let's equip the flashlight. And again, let's make sure that Suichi is actually here. Okay, good. And let's go check out the shed. Uh, let's go this way. It's probably a little bit quicker. Alright. Yeah, I'm getting to know the place now. I do still wonder what happened to Sachi. I didn't find her. I mean, did she, like, return? And, you know, like, finish her shift? Hmm. Wait, I'm getting completely lost here. Where? Oh, here it is, here it is. <laughs> right, shed door. Yeah, maybe there's a key somewhere. Maybe it's right here. Yes. Okay. Bit of a shame that you don't sort of auto-select the flashlight after you use items, but uh, never mind. Okay. I can't see well in the dark. It's okay, though. I've got a tool. 
Looks like a hoe. That's probably good enough for me to maybe pull down that ladder? Right? I'm just trying to connect the dots here. So that's going to be here, so maybe we don't have to go climbing on the roof and slip off and kill ourselves. Farm tool. Okay. I <laughs> yep. Brilliant. Oh, there it is. I'm taking it with me. I'm not climbing up. I'm not going next door myself. Uh, okay, so I've still got the tool, which is good. There's the ladder. Um, it's really the flashlight that I want. <sighs> I fear the next step, I'm not going to like... Climbing into the attic, climbing into the loft. I'd rather not. Right. He's still there. Can I chat to him again? Okay. Yeah, same old, same old. How do I get you into the bathroom? I guess it's got something to do with the ladder. It does look like there's something over there that I can use, and I couldn't use... I couldn't use anything before. What was that? What the fuck was that? <laughs> someone just messing around in the boxes. Maybe someone in the attic. Someone outside? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should actually go outside and check out the window from the outside. Um, but yeah, first things first. I've got this ladder. I know where it goes. <sighs> there was something here. And now it's back. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I am definitely going to be using my flashlight. This really is the beginning of the garage, isn't it? Fucking hell. Okay. Climb up. <laughs> yes. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the door. There's my escape. No bodies. No. Just a load more boxes. So many boxes. Okay, a stool. All right. I, I picked up something like this in Hanako. All right. So the stool. What do we need a stool for? Maybe that's something for the uh, the window outside, or it's to break the plank or something? That's it? That's it! Okay! That wasn't actually quite as scary as I thought it was going to be. Good. Yeah, go down, go down. I got a stool. I got a stool, right. I'm going to check on Suichi, then I'm going to go outside and have a look at the window, I think. Okay, so... Fingers crossed. He's still here. Okay, cool. So, oh, <laughs> bloody box in the way. Yeah, through here. I think, I think it was the window itself that I could use. Of course, I can't get into the room, so maybe I could use it from here. Is it, it's one of these. Ah, oh, oh, would this be for the stool? I think so, right? The window's open. I can see that a plank is blocking the bathroom door. I need to find B, <laughs> something that can budge it down. Nice bolt there. Okay, uh, it's too high for me, so I need something to step on as well. So this is where the stool goes. Right. Uh, and then maybe the tool gets used again? Yes? I can see? Yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, right. I see what you mean now. Okay, well, I, I think I knocked it loose. So does that mean I can... Okay. Who was that? Who the fuck was that? Was that Sachi trying to get her job back? I don't think so. Goddamn. Okay, flashlight's out. Alright, it's, uh... It's getting spooky. Just for a while I was forgetting it was, you know, a horror game and I was just doing all the puzzles, but... What's going on? Right. So, I, I can get this open? I can get this open, great. You can see the tool is still sticking through. That's a 
Lovely, lovely bath right there. Um, I just need to find him now, don't I? And of course he's not here. It's like he was being moved by someone this way. I, oh, it was the fridge. <laughs> the fridge is freaking me out. Um, okay, are you in here? No? Unless you have been, like, put in a cupboard or something. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, Suichi! <laughs> Where are you? I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I've said it quite a lot now. <laughs> Wait, what? I can see the stink lines coming off of him. Why is he outside? Oh, shit, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right. I'm going back out. I'm going back out. Um, I'm, I'm going to go this way. For some reason, I just feel safer going this way. I think it's just, like, slightly better lit. Yeah. Yeah, you can see him. You can see him silhouetted. I don't see the person that was pushing him. <laughs> yeah. Dot, dot, dot. What the fuck? Suishi? Let's get you inside. Weird. Okay, yeah, we need to get you bathed. There you go. Oh, God. Oh, God, what is it now? Who is it? Someone at the front door? Oh, oh. Ah, something got delivered? A delivered package! Oh, okay, it wasn't spooky after all. Actually, can I just leave? I- I can't just leave now. But the truck's out of the way, of course you can! Damn it! Alright, I think I'm condemned to death, but I got a package. Uh, what's in the package? Maybe Suichi or his family ordered something? Or maybe it's medicine, or I don't know. Right, okay, you didn't drown, that's good. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, I received a package just now. I'm going to leave it on the kitchen table, okay? I think he's okay with that. Right, so the kitchen table. Through here. Place package. There you go, alright. What's inside? We will never know, unfortunately. Right. <laughs> How you doing down there? Take him to bed? Is he done? Um, yeah, let's take him to bed. Why not? And then maybe I can leave. Maybe my shift's over. Maybe I can actually get out alive. Hey, oh, oh. oh dear. What is that sound? Oh boy, I don't like this. I, I can't seem to get out of this place. What? Whoa, hang on. Someone's standing there. I can't open the door. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh. Okay. Am I still playing as Naomi? Hey, Risako-san. Uh, what's up, she says. About Suichi. There's something wrong about his family. None of his family members were home. I feel very uneasy about it. I was wondering if Sachi-san knows anything. Hmm. You want to take a look at her work diary? Uh, yeah, sure. That would help. Oh, and she's taking a sick leave again. Uh, I wonder why. Maybe you can visit her. See if she's doing okay. Did that just unlock? Did you lock me in until we had a conversation? Risako-san. What are you like? Right. Okay, um... Again, I'm just sort of going through the motions, kind of half looking for cards and other things I can pick up. Can I grab the medicine? No. Was that there before? I don't know if that was there before, actually. Maybe at some point I'm going to need the medicine? Nothing down here, no backpack, no cards, no... okay. Ah, now I can go in since there's no one at the front desk. I'm the receptionist now. Ah, look. Okay, so this is her diary. 
Day one. Just a normal day at Suichi's. But there's one thing that bothered me. The house kind of smells. Where is it coming from? I should try getting rid of the stench tomorrow. Day two. I didn't know Suichi suffers dementia. He doesn't talk much, if not at all. This is odd. He was fine yesterday. Maybe his symptoms are starting to show now. I pray he'll be okay. Day three. His family members were supposed to be at home today. They called us last minute that they can't make it. It's just Suichi at home today. I really wish they'd let us know sooner. Oh well, I shouldn't complain. I try taking out the trash again and use the air freshener, but nothing seems to work. The house still reeks of something rotten. When I arrived today, Suichi wasn't at home. Turns out he was lying on the ground outside. What's going on? I also hear scratching of walls and banging on ceilings. I try checking where the sounds were coming from. Nothing's there. Ah, the smell again! I just can't put a finger on where that smell is coming from. Everything about that house is driving me insane. Okay, this seems to be the final entry, day five. The room in the second floor. What was that? Grandma? Why are you here? What are you doing? It can't be real, right? I feel... cold. Maybe I'm just sick. I shouldn't go to work tomorrow. Okay. I think it was day five that we played through. So, she made it out alive. She actually wrote this in her diary. She's just been taking sick days since, I suppose. What happened at Suichi's? Something's wrong with Sachi-san. I have to go visit her. I can go now. From what I heard, she lives nearby. Oh, okay, well that's convenient. Because <laughs> I don't think I'll be driving or anything. Um, so yeah, we can just go. We're just going. Now, from what I remember... Sachi-san lives nearby. She should be living in the tallest apartment building in this area. So... <laughs> I can't really see it if I look at it directly, but... Maybe one of these two? Ah, oh, can't we do this during the day? <laughs> Just for once, so I can actually see. Oh. Okay. I guess it's not that way. No, okay. When it's red, you really can't cross. But when it's green, you can. Okay. This way? I think I'm on the right lines. I think it's... That one? That way? That one's probably the tallest. Right. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Vending machines? Come on. Oh, is that... That's another card, isn't it? Good stuff. Alright. Where do I start? <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing a lot of knocking, I think. And to be honest, I think I'm accessing this place from the wrong side, so that's never good. Let's go around. Oh, okay. Well, it's a bit of a dead end, but hey, look. I, at least I found another mysterious card. Okay. I guess the number in the top left of the card hasn't got anything to do with what the card number is, precisely. Maybe it's like the level of the Patreon support or something? I'm just guessing. I don't know. It's just yet another mystery in this game. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, leave this video a like, maybe a comment. Helps me out a great deal. Okay. Right, this way? Here we go. Oh, hello. Well, it's not a monk this time. Hi! You look a bit down in the dumps. I won't let you pass. All right, Gandalf. Um, do I know you? No. So does that mean I can pass? No. <laughs> you have the same uniform as the girl who lives here. That means I can't let you pass. What? Why? I don't even live here. It doesn't matter. You have to win in a game of rock, paper, scissors. What? Then I'll let you pass. What? Okay, huh? Rock, paper, scissors. Are you kidding? Shut up and listen, or I won't let you pass. Jesus Christ. Okay, just call the police. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, uh, it's rock, paper, scissors, right? You're not trying to fight me, are you? Can I just get past him? No, I don't think I can. Right. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Uh, let's go with rock. Ah, uh, okay. Ha! Too easy. Can't let you pass, then. Game over. That's the end of that. Can I try again? 
Here we go. Okay, I guess at some point I'm going to win. Uh, let's try scissors. Ah, I lost. You're pretty strong. <laughs> All right, is it best of three or... I guess not. However, you really thought I'd let you pass with just a game of rock, paper, scissors? Think again, loser. I don't think I'm the loser here. But you said all I need is one thing. I know you lot have them. I know you do. Have what? Bring me the drug. The drug? Stop playing dumb. I've been getting it from your friend. But she's acting weird lately and won't give me the damn thing. Runs off like a psychopath, apparently. Yeah, you say that. Bring me the drug, and I'll let you pass. That's what the medicine cabinet's for, right? That's why something appeared on the shelf that wasn't there before. Okay. Alright, well, now I know. Alright. Beep -bop. <laughs> You really can't deviate away from the zebra crossing here, either. Yeah, it's very, very strict rules. <laughs> okay, here I am, back at work. Yeah. Again, you know, Sachi doesn't have a very long way to walk, does she, to get to work? If she wanted to uh, tell everyone that she's taken a sick day, again, she could just yell it over. Right, so, let's see. Do I talk to Rosako about this, or do I just slyly get it from the cabinet? I think I'm just going to slyly get it from the cabinet. Morphine. There you go, there you go. Alright. Hopefully she didn't hear that, she's not going to question that. I was never here. <laughs> there you go. The perfect crime. Hmm. So this guy's been getting morphine from Sachi for a while, eh? Naughty. <laughs> Seems like no cars ever crossed my path. Yeah, so far, I'm liking this. I don't know if I like it quite as much as Hanako, but uh, it's it's one of the good ones, I think. Right. Bring me the drug. Well, I've got it. Yes. This. This. Ah. <laughs> okay. He's satiated. He's, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. So we can go in. We can enter the apartment. Now we just need to track down exactly where she is. Seemed like there was quite a few floors. You don't need to go there now? Okay. Okay, oh, we're on the right floor, apparently. We're like halfway up, right. Uh, I guess it's not this one. Oh, there is a card though, right? Yeah. Cool. Sexy, apparently, all right. No, that's not gonna be the one. Probably the one right at the end, if I had to guess. Yes, and there's no knocking, I just enter, all right. Okay. All right, that was that was a little bit odd. Am I going to take my shoes off? I, to be honest, I haven't been doing that in uh, in Soichi's place. Uh, okay, a kettle, a box of tea. All right, did I just? Okay, I've got myself a tea bag. <laughs> I'm just going to let myself in, make myself at home. Got the mug there. I think did I just did I just put the tea bag in? I think I did, didn't I? Right. Maybe the kettle goes on the stove. Yep. Oh, there she is. Sorry. I <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea? I'm making one. Sachi-san? Are you okay? I don't think she's okay. Oh. I'm okay. I just feel... cold. Do you want me to get you some tea? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Well, I'm on it. Don't worry about it. I, oh, okay. Just had to wait for a while. Hot water. I'll just put that in my backpack, I guess. There you go, a mug of tea. And... I guess the kettle just disappeared. All right. Right, well, here you go. Here's your mug of tea that I'm pouring on the floor. <laughs> yes. Right, hope you don't mind, but I'm kind of looking for cards. Anything in here? No? <laughs> Come on. Oh, there is, there is one here. There you go. 
Cool. Alright, so now that you've had a sip of tea, let's talk. Or not. Are you alright now? I'm so cold. Don't worry. I think I just caught a cold. Hey, Sachi-san. So, I came here to ask you something. I read your work notes, and what happened at Suichi's? And what happened to his family? Why? Why? Why what? Why? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. It's because I'm in charge of taking care of him now. Get out. Get out. I don't want to get involved anymore. Okay. Don't think I'm going to be getting any answers from her. Alright. So, I can't make myself a cup of tea. I came all this way, I made you a tea, I didn't get anything for myself. God damn it, okay. Oh. Oh, that's the, that's the tea, isn't it? I thought that was another card. Right, well, um... I guess I'm off then. Uh, yeah. Alright. Um, hmm. Am I going to Suichi's tonight? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm due to walk back, you know? What was that? What just happened? Oh. Oh. Oh! Wow, okay. I guess it wasn't the best tea I ever made, but it shouldn't drive you to do that. What happened to her in that room? Jeez. Okay, here I am. Still playing as Naomi. Come on, Naomi. You can do this. Right. Uh, let's go this way. Masako? Are you there? No? Wait. Where is everyone? I have to get to Suichi's. What is this feeling? I feel like I should hurry. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's definitely, there's definitely something wrong with this guy. I'm intrigued. I do like the story to this one. Yeah. And it does have its fair share of spooky moments. They do seem to be few and far between, though. And I don't know if there's any actual threat in this game. Whereas there was in Hanako. <laughs> I don't suppose we'll be fighting any giant spider bosses in this game. Right, so up here, come on. Put your best foot forward. Did I even grab my backpack? I don't know. I, I guess I don't need it. As long as I've got this, I'm good. Over here? Okay. Also, what was in that package? <laughs> That's still puzzling me. I guess now that we're here, we can check if anything else has been delivered. No. Right. Oh. <laughs> I think I used both doors at the same time. Let's just use this one. There we go. Right. <laughs> it's actually getting louder. Okay. Well, he's not asleep. Ah. Oh, well, this is the package. Can I use it now? It's open. Take what's inside. Yes. What's inside? It's a handle? It's a car jack crank. A car jack crank? Okay, anything else? No, I mean, the icon's there, but I can't use it again. Right. Okay, he's not in the bath. He's not on the toilet. Hang on, what's this? Ah, I missed that. He's not here either. Okay, hang on. What about... Okay, he's definitely not up there. I can't check. He's sometimes in here, right? But not this time. Okay. Uh, over here? He could be upstairs, I guess. I, I hope he's not outside. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh, fucking hell. I was kind of kidding about the rats. Wait. W what's going on? What are you doing? Rip the mattress. Yeah, rip the mattress. Van key? Wait, there was a... Hang on. There was a van key inside the mattress. Anything else? <laughs> Thanks, rats. You were kind of pointing me the way. Okay, he, he's actually not down here, so he's either got to be upstairs or he's outside. Right. Can we... Oh. oh what's this now? Oh, do you think I need to... Maybe I need to use a jack to actually open this up. Yeah, these slide doors are stuck somehow. Maybe I can use something to force it open. Something like this. Uh, that... That's a handle to nothing. It's a handle to a car jack that doesn't exist. So I need to find the actual car jack, I suppose. But hang on. I'm sort of taking my own peek right now. There's a cabinet that's wrapped up with, like, red string. But that's all I see. I don't see Suichi. Oh, 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 oh. I see a crowbar. I see a crowbar. Okay. I don't know what I'd use the crowbar with, but, uh... I see a crowbar. Okay. This guy must be outside. Maybe he's in the van? Maybe he's trying to get away. <laughs> I don't blame him. I really don't. I think he knows what's going on. He just can't tell me because of his dementia. You know? Right, so the van... Well, let's just go this way. Yeah, the van's out the back, isn't it? God, it really is pouring it down. Right. Okay, so I... Uh, use the van key here? Open the van, yes. Okay. That's it, right? The car jack. Anything else? Now that I'm here? Any cards? I don't think so. Right, so the car jack, let's use that with the handle. We can probably get that open. And then we can get the crowbar. But I don't I don't see this guy. Where is he? He could be in the shed, right? Let's try it. No? No. Oh, another mysterious card, though. Hey! Cool. I mean, he disappeared once before. Maybe he's just done it again. Yeah, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Let's just get that crowbar. Maybe the crowbar can point me in his direction or something. Okay, so this way. Mm-hmm. Through here. Up there. And let's check out the floating handle, basically. Okay. Car jack goes there. Yep, they are stuck. I think I've got that something, to be honest. I think it, it should be connected. It Yes, use the car jack. Perfect. Anyone on the other side? Wheelchair bound or otherwise? I'm also wondering if there's someone standing behind me. Okay. Alright. It's just a, a simple, normal cutscene. There's no one standing behind me, no one hanging on the ceiling. And we can go through. Hmm. Maybe I just heard some rats again, or maybe not. What do we got, though? A crowbar. And a bloody note. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. And what's up with this? Yeah, it's like red strings. Just got it tied up. It's like I should be able to use this, but I can't. Maybe I need to find something to cut the string, or... 
Maybe I need to put a seal on it or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm missing something. But good fortune comes beneath the floor. Right. Beneath the floor. Not, like... Not outside. We're not digging anything up, right? We're, we're prying something up. We're prying, like, boards up. It's probably going to be somewhere here on the ground floor. Come on, rats. You help me out with the, uh, with the van key. Take me to the right floorboard. I think I might have found it. Yeah, again, it's not telling me anything, but... If I use it with the crowbar... Pry it open, that's it. Okay, this is a bit odd. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to see, like, a little lockbox or something. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this is where Suichi is. I just want to give him some food, give him a bath, and take him to bed. And here I am, in a dungeon. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I can just climb up. Okay, uh, that, that's good, that's good. That's that's available. Alright. Um, it's so dark down here. This way? Oh no, that, that's like a cave-in. Okay, let's, let's go this way. Let's just basically stick to the left and hope. Okay. Uh... Suichi, <laughs> it's time for your bath. What the hell is going on over there? Okay. Does this go anywhere? No, that's another dead end. All right, so what's that? What's burning? Wait, who's burning? Is that? That's not him, is it? Okay. Crow's heads? I think. Oh, wow. It's like it's some sort of altar. Maybe a blood sacrifice or something. <laughs> what the fuck? What? H who is that? Is that Suichi? That's not Suichi, is it? Oh, damn. That's a creepy mask. If that is indeed a mask. <laughs> I think it probably is. But is that a mask on Suichi? Is he all dressed up? Who did this to you? Maybe your family? Is that why they're, like, mysteriously absent? Hang on. What the fuck am I hearing? Okay, yeah, crow's heads on sticks. That's Suichi! Jeez, and look at this! And look at this, a bloody note. The time of the deeds have been engraved to the elderly clocks. The mother got stabbed while preparing dinner and the clock struck 3.30. The girl was strangled when she was coming back from school and the clock struck 8.10. The boy got pushed down the stairs and the clock struck 5.40. The father pushed down from the window and the clock struck 11.50. The gods will aid when the timepieces align. Okay. I'm gonna note this down. Yeah, okay. Um, when the timepieces align, you say, I have been seeing a few clocks around the place. I don't believe I could use them, but maybe now I can. Maybe now they need to be set to these times for whatever reason, so... 3.30? Okay, right. I've got all those noted down. What else have we got here? Okay, again, I'm just sticking to the left to find that there's a dead end. Um, okay, some of this is actually kind of hard to traverse. Over here? Oh, up here? Maybe, maybe? No, no nothing, really, nothing. <laughs> not even a card? Nah, you're not going to find cards down here. <laughs> oh, <she> <laughs> oh, okay, that took me by surprise, as I'm sure you can tell. Who the fuck are you? Okay, 
Um, someone's walking after me. Yeah. Thankfully, they're just walking and I can run. Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way and, um... That's... That's who I was hearing. That's the person that did this to Suichi, I guess. Is it a family member? Where did they go? Didn't they follow me? Oh, now I don't know where they are. This is actually a little bit worrying. Over here? Nope, nope, just another dead end. Oh man, it's so dark. Right. Should we leave? I think we should leave. Yes, climb up and please, put the floor back. Jeez Louise, okay. Right, so 3.30 for the mother, uh, 8.10 for the girl, 5.40 for the boy, 11.50 for the father. I've got that noted down. I think it was maybe pointing me to the areas where I'm going to find the clocks as well. So, over here, um, no, I think it's the kitchen maybe? Because she was... There you go. Yes, the old clock. Okay, so let's see. It's A for minute and D for hour, apparently. So this one should be 3.30. Like that? Okay. Cool. Cool, okay. And we can't mess with it again, so I just need to find the other three now. Okay. Uh, the girl, she was coming home from school. So she was entering the front door, I guess? I guess there's not a... Oh. Well, there's not a clock outside. I can't actually get outside anymore. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Okay. There's something very, very freaky about that. Just silently walking up to you as well. Wow, 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 wow. Fucking hell. Okay, um, right. Um... How am I going to deal with you, then? Right. If you could pull... Yep, yep, you're following me. You are following me. If you can follow me up here, with your big old fucking knife, I'm going to run past you. And I'm going to notice that there's a clock over there that I need to mess with. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> I hit the wrong door, fuck. Are you still coming after me? Okay, where's this clock? It's got to be somewhere nearby, right? Oh, there, there it is, right there. Okay. And you're not following? Ah, you are! Okay, all right, right, so. I think that's going to be the girl's clock. That's the one that needs to be, what was it? 8.10. 8.10, okay. Jeez, all right. So I've just got to give you the runaround, whoever you are. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think I'm doing... You know, the best I can here. I think this is probably the best way of dealing with it. Okay, what else was there? There was the boy. This could be the boy's clock, because it's the stairs, right? These are the stairs. Okay, can I really quickly do 540? Nice, nice. Okay. That's two down, two to go. Um, the father from a window. Didn't I see one on the fucking floor down there? There it is. Okay, so this one's probably going to be eleven fifty. So eleven, and then all the way around. Can't do it anti-clockwise, unfortunately. Yes, that's right. That's right. So it's it's just the girls' one, and that's in the uh, that's in the room where Suichi sleeps. And that's the one that's being protected by this person with a knife. A man or a woman? I can't tell. Okay. Uh, it's a he or a she? I don't know. I'd rather not assume it's gender. <laughs> okay, yep. Time to go. Definitely time to go. Alright, follow me. Come on. We're going on an adventure. For a moment, I thought that was actually meant to be Suichi, but it's not. It's someone else entirely. Right, let's go this way. 
Come on. This way. I want to take you as far away from that clock as possible. Which means we're going all the way around here. There you go. And we're going all the way around here too. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Right. Hopefully I've got enough time. I guess we'll see. And hey, apparently there's some threat in the game. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, so this one. That's going to be the girl. Uh, so 810. 810. So... There? Right. Right! Okay. All the time pieces align. Where's that? Oh, I... I wondered about that chest earlier, actually, when I first got here. Seems like there's a bit of a leak. It's raining inside. What is that? Okay. But seriously, back to the flashlight. I want to see who's going to try and fucking stab me. Was that? That was in here, wasn't it? That was where I first saw Tsuichi. Here. Yes. A, a religious dagger? Oh. Maybe I can stab this person. Or maybe I maybe I don't do that. Maybe I use that to cut the thread. This is very alarming. Where have you gone? <laughs> I'm so paranoid right now. Oh my goodness, right. Okay, you're not here. You're definitely not here. Right. Are you here? No. Still can't use this, but let's try the religious dagger. No? Nothing. No, okay, never mind. I had the wrong idea. Um, maybe I have to take it down to the to the cave. Maybe I have to stab Suichi with it. Or, or cut him loose. Or kill myself. I don't really know. But there is an option to go down again. I'm going to take it. I, I, I don't know if I was alone up there. It might be back down here. Okay. I don't hear anything, but I couldn't really. As I was being sneaked up behind. Okay. <laughs> I'm very, very nervous right now. Okay. Suichi, yes. Suichi in, in your bird garb. Yeah, that seems to work. I don't know if I'm cutting you loose or stabbing you or... Stabbing you. Okay. Seems like a minor inconvenience, to be honest. I... Oh. Okay. Suichi. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I think I just killed you, but... Uh, maybe you're already dead. Si oh. Wait, you're alive? And there's no wound on your chest. What the fuck's going on? Thank you, young one. Oh, finally, he speaks. The curse didn't allow me to speak. I'm sorry, I couldn't figure things out sooner. No, you did more than what I dreamed for. You gave me a chance. Now listen, the raven is after me. It is using my wife to complete itself. Your wife? That was... that was his wife? Right, right, right. She mentioned, like, grandma, didn't she? Yeah, Sachi mentioned Grandma in, on, in the diary. I thought she passed away. The Raven can interact with the dead. He has coerced her soul back to this world. The condition for his summoning is for the dead to perform the ritual on the person she loved the most. Now, you must save my wife's spirit. But how? Her bone box is in the altar. It should be sealed tight with a red string. Oh, that's that's the cabinet upstairs. Get it out of the house, and the demon will back away. Okay. Use this. It should cut through anything. You have a good soul. Hmm, that's what the monk said. I trust in you. What we got? 
scissors. Well, you <laughs> Always carry a pair of scissors just in case, I suppose, right? Okay, so uh, the dagger, the religious dagger couldn't cut the string, but the scissors will. Some fucking dagger that was. Right. Uh, back here, then. Uh, are we safe? So that's Suichi's wife? Suichi, I just wanted to be with you. I'm sorry. Aww. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going. Right. And I wasn't stabbed in the back. Good. That's good. Right, so we want to go this way, we want to go upstairs, we want to use those scissors on that red string. And there's a bone box? And I just need to get that out of the house, right? Okay. Is this it? Yep, this is it, this is the bone box. And that's all I really want. I just need to, I just need to take this outside. The, um, the front door was locked. Oh shit. That scared the crap out of me. What's going on? Oh, shit. Ooh. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Uh, I'm upstairs again? Wait, what? Where am I? Oh god. Oh shit. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Oh man. Oh, what the fuck is going on? I'm going this way. What the hell? It's just like an endless maze of doors! Ah! Okay. Right. Just keep running. Just- Oh my god, how many of them are there? Or is it just the one that keeps on reappearing? Oh jeez, okay. Right. Just keep going. Just... Okay. Uh, I... I think I'm in the right spot? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that was just in my mind or something. I, I did make it out. With the bone box, hopefully, right? I guess that's it, okay. I ran as fast as I could. Just when I ran out of breath, I saw a small, worn-out building. It's an old temple. Just looking at it made me feel its history. I looked back. The Karasu Tengu- Ah! The Karasu Tengu was gone! Did I lose him? Hmm, I guess. I decided to enter the temple. I saw a monk chanting, probably the same one from earlier, actually. I was hesitant to disturb him, but he must have felt my presence. He slowly turned to me and stared at the bone box as he walked. The monk spoke before letting me speak. Here, give it to me. I handed the box without a second thought. My hands were still trembling from the adrenaline. If you were a little late, the poor woman's spirit would have suffered a great deal. I was relieved. Suichi was right. It seems that his wife, Haori, was unharmed because I took the bone box out of the house. The monk then told me to bury it in a grave before it attracts anything else. He helped me do so, and he even offered a prayer of protection for me and the couple. I also prayed. Prayed that Haori is safely released, and Suichi is to be as far away from the foul spirits as possible. I'm happy that Haori finally has the chance to watch over Suichi in the other world. But where did the Karasu Tengu go? Is he gone for good? Either way, I have to make sure that Suichi does not go back there again. A few days have passed. This could be another game! <laughs> a few days have passed, and I decided to still care for Suichi. It's a nice sunny day. We're going to visit Haori's grave today. Now that we've had our moment of peace. I can finally greet her. Nice. And she won't come running after me with a knife. <laughs> Alright? So is that it? Have I... have I given enough care? 
I think that's probably going to be the end. And that's her grave in the background, is it? With the bone box. Oh, no, no, there's a little bit more. What a shame. He was already gone the moment you stepped into the house. What a shame. Ah, just for a moment, just for a second, I thought we were going to get a happy ending. But I guess it just was not to be. But that was The Caregiver, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. If you show your support, it really does help the channel out. It's much appreciated. Yeah, let me know what you thought. I thought this was really quite good. It's probably not my favorite from Chiller's Art. I think Hanako is a step above, it's a level above. Uh, but this was still good. I still enjoyed my time with it. It was a slow burn for the most part, especially near the beginning where you're just, you know, getting used to the location trying to care for him, things are happening in the background, he's disappearing, he's moving, he's getting pushed around, or you're hearing noises, and then you kind of get used to the place, you're solving some puzzles, finding some items, then it starts to ramp it up again, things start to go a little bit awry, and as soon as you go down into that dungeon cave, that's when my heart was in my mouth. His wife, Powery, was just approaching me so quietly, but yet so swiftly. And I didn't like it. It was very, very uncomfortable. And especially when she followed me up into the house, and I just, I, I, I wasn't sure if I was safe or not. And <laughs> up until the very end, I, I really wasn't sure. That was great. That was really fantastic. It, it ended on a good note. Uh, going through the maze at the very end, trying to uh, get away from the Kursi Tengu as well. That was nice. That was nice. Um, yeah, I enjoyed my time with this. I think, again, I think I mentioned this before near the beginning, I think they overdid it with the sort of VHS looking filter. Maybe dial that down a notch so you can actually see what's going on sometimes. Also, maybe the flashlight could be a little bit brighter. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a, a few little nitpicks here and there. Overall, I did enjoy this and I hope you did as well. I'll see you in another video very soon. I think there is supposed to be an inventory system, right? Uh, I think it's Tab, but apparently my bag was filled with absolutely nothing <laughs> when she was born. Can we talk about this later? Apparently there's an emergency? Okay, right. Well, the emergency's probably over. Suichi's probably dead, so I can take my time now. This dark already? Well, yeah, she was nattering on and on and on. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Immediately. I can kind of see through some of the windows. <laughs> what the hell? Through here? Oh, bloody hell, it's so dark. Wait, someone behind me as well? What the- I heard you talking about me behind my back, you bitch. Hey, Naomi, she says. <laughs> you should feel at home. Okay, <laughs> I'll think about it. Is that a paperclip? Oh man, I'm feeling like Kyle Hyde right now. I'm so happy to find a paperclip. <laughs> it does look like there's something over there that I can use and I couldn't use- I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> yes? I can see? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so does that mean I can... Okay. Okay, yeah, we need to get you bathed. There you go. But the truck's out of the way. Of course you can. Damn it. I, I can't seem to get out of this place. What? Whoa, hang on. It, it's rock, paper, scissors, right? You're not trying to fight me, are you? Uh, let's try scissors. Ah! I lost. You're pretty strong. <laughs> you really can't deviate away from the zebra crossing here either. Yeah, it's very, very strict rules. <laughs> Maybe the kettle goes on the stove? Yep. Oh, there she is. Sorry. I. <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea? I'm making one. Here's your mug of tea that I'm pouring on the floor. <laughs> Fuck was that? What's that? What's burning? 
Wait, who's burning? Is that- that's not him, is it? What the fuck am I hearing? Nah, you're not gonna find cards down here. Whoa! She- <laughs> Well, there's not a clock outside. I can't actually get outside anymore. Whoa! And hey, apparently there's some threat in the game. Good. Seems like there's a bit of a leak. It's raining inside. Yeah, that seems to work. I don't know if I'm cutting you loose or stabbing you or... What we got? Scissors. What you... <laughs> Always carry a pair of scissors just in case, I suppose, right? The, um, the front door was locked. Oh, shit. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, shit. What the hell? This looks like an endless maze of doors! Ah! Oh, shit.